Good day and welcome to the second tutorial on custom CSS. Today we discuss how to choose the correct CSS selector. I will demonstrate a few examples using PHP Runner version 10.3 that can be downloaded from xlinesoft.com. I'm also using Chrome Developer Tools. In the first example, I'm going to change the font of all grids within a project. Launch any list page in the web browser, right click anywhere in the grid and choose the inspect element. Developers console will open showing properties of the selected element. Keep moving higher in the elements hierarchy until you find an element that includes the whole grid. The grid will be in a diff with class R-grid. Now make sure that this diff is selected in the elements tree by clicking on it. Then go to the styles panel and under elements.style add the property font size 20 pixels. You will know you specified the correct CSS property when the font of the entire grid changes. Note that in the main browser window it shows us diff.r-grid and this is a CSS selector we can use in our custom CSS. Simply take the diff.r-grid and add open and close curly brackets and enter the font size property between the brackets. This is exactly what we need to add into custom CSS of PHP Runner. On the editor page within PHP Runner, click on custom CSS and add the code. Click on close. Build the project and all grids now have a font size of 20 pixels. Control F5 might be required to see the changes on your website. Sometimes you will need to clear the browser cache before changes with CSS will take effect. This is especially true when you apply changes on a real web server. In certain cases when CSS doesn't apply, you need to specify an override attribute as follows. Add exclamation important to the property. We will see a real example in a few minutes. In the next example, I'm going to change button properties. Again, from the web browser, right click on a button, in this case the delete button, Choose Inspect and select the element in the element tree to see the hint in the browser window. If you need to change the property of this delete button only, you can use the CSS selector as it is displayed. If you need to change the look of all default buttons within your project, you will need to use a more generic selector. So how do we determine this selector? In the element tree, you can find the class attribute that describes this element. In this case, it is button space button dash default. And this is now the new selector. Because we are only using the last part of the selector, you need to include the dot. The same can be achieved by looking at the class attribute again. Remember to start with the dot and replace all spaces with dots. Back at the editor page in PHP Runner, again click on custom CSS, I add the CSS I just constructed, close and bolt. You may notice that it appears that the delete button did not change. But if I select something to be deleted, the button becomes active and now the background and border are representing the correct colors. All other default buttons have changed accordingly. 
And for those of you who wonder why the Add New button did not change, it is because of its class button primary. In other words, it is not a default button, but a primary button instead. Let's move over to the view page. There are two sections I added in Page Designer. The first contains part info and the second part description. The part description has a lot of text, so let's organize it into three columns. First, I head over to my CSS generator. Click on Column. Make some changes and copy the code. Again, let's right click and inspect. You notice that a span is selected, but what we are looking for is a div above it. Like before, select the div and paste the code into element.style. There is a lot of space on both sides of the text, so let's see where that is coming from. With the diff selected, move over to the style panel and go right to the bottom. Here you will see a representation of all visual properties. And if I hover my mouse from the inside out, I can visually identify the areas. First we have the text, then some padding, there seems to be no border, and finally the margin. And without a doubt, the margin needs to change to utilize the space better. Now I'm scrolling up and try to find the margin properties. Here I found margin left of 25% and the width of 50%. Copy the width and margin left and paste it into the element.star. I'm going to change the width to 100% and the margin left to 1%. Now that looks more appealing to me. Let's construct the selector. One important thing now is to set an override attribute to the width and margin left. If you don't, you will see a strike through indicating a higher level overriding this level. Ok, so that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully it's more clear now on how to select the correct CSS selector and the construction of custom CSS. Please share, like and subscribe. Also, leave your comments in the description below. Should you require more examples, please just ask. Thanks for watching. Till next time.